Hello there, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Aries, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we are starting here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is you getting into action, Aries. I feel there's an opportunity that has come in. Some of you are seeing this, some of you are about to see this, but whatever this opportunity is, it has kind of lit this fire within you and you're now taking action. I feel a lot of you have done some planning and strategizing, but this motion that you are creating in your life by getting into action is what's going to create a, lo a lot of success in your life. So get ready for this beautiful energy, embrace it. I do feel there's gonna be a lot of movement. There's going to be a lot of action in your life. A lot of things are gonna happen and you have to be prepared here, my friends so this is happening for you and temperance there's balance coming in i feel balance is also required here aries this is a major arcana card and this energy is prominent it's in the background some of you're feeling it intensely some of you're feeling it subtly i also want you to use your own intuition with my reading today aries because i feel that you are highly intuitive and you will re receive intuitive messages through spirit now this balance this is much required in your life right now aries whether you're creating this yourself or it's happening on its own this is about you really self-regulating, bringing yourself to a place where you can ground yourself as you are moving because there's going to be a lot of things happening in your life and it's going to require that you are balanced and that you are grounded, okay? This is, you know, this is for your ultimate success. I feel that you're on the path that you're meant to be on and you're seeing that ultimate destination, that dream, that vision with very uh, crystal clear clarity here. And you're running towards that opportunity. You're running towards that uh, destination. And as you're doing this, we've got the Eight of Cups energy coming through here as well. So there's a lot of things that you have to leave behind or that you are leaving behind. These are things that don't serve your higher purpose here, Aries. And I feel a lot of you know what these things are, what who these people are, the things that are holding you back, almost weighing you down right now. So I'm seeing a lot of you walking away or turning your back on things that don't serve your higher purpose. I'm also seeing a lot of options being available for you and you're kind of being picky here. So you're turning your back on opportunities that are coming towards you because they don't align with your values and your morals. This is a, this is a big one for some of you because I do feel that you're in a place right now, Aries. Some of you are where you are successful. You're starting to see that growth. You're starting to see a lot of those blessings coming towards you. And you're having to pick and choose the things that you want to kind of carry and move forward with and the things that you don't want to. So I'm seeing you turning your back on a lot of things coming towards you. Now look at this. This is a beautiful card, I personally feel, because... I feel that some of you have gotten a head start in life recently in a job, in a position, right? And there's a lot of growth coming towards you with this opportunity. This could be a financial opportunity for some of you. Maybe you landed some money in some way. This could be through, you know, a loan, someone assisting you financially, someone lending you some money or you kind of um, getting a promotion or a raise somewhere in your life as well. So this is an increase in income. This could also be a new skill set. This could be something tangible in your material world that is helping you move forward, that is helping you grow. And because of this, I'm seeing a lot of you getting into motion, taking action, and really starting to get the ball rolling. And as you're doing this, Aries, I'm seeing a lot of things coming at you. This is like you know, a knight that rides straight into chaos, right into war. This person has a plan, this person has a strategy, and I feel that you have all of this, that you are equipped. And getting equipped is the other part of this journey here, Aries, is picking up on knowledge and skill sets so you can leverage them as you move towards this chaotic energy. 
chaotic energy meaning that say for example you have started a new business you're now having to create a website your social media accounts your emails all of the work that goes into creating a business is the chaos that you have to kind of deal with so you're diving head in and what's happening here is spirit guides are wanting to really organize everything and get a calendar and organize these things. When, when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't have any of that organized. I didn't even have a schedule if you go back and look at my channel. I had to create that organization because once I started, by the probably the first six months, I started seeing a lot of movement towards me with views, right? Personal reading, bookings, all of that. So I had to create structure for myself. I had to have strategy, I had to have a plan. So this is the energy here I'm feeling for you today, Aries, is there's a lot of things coming towards you and you're having to grab them. And it's you taking that chaos and creating structure to it. And as you're doing this, this is becoming a game plan and you're now learning how to master things. So this for some of you is the beginning stages of that great success. And I, I, I really feel that some of you are kind of working towards that freedom. That black stallion, this shows me that you are working towards financial freedom, independence, really living on your own terms here, Aries. For some of you, this is you rising up in your career, in your position, right? You've gotten a little opportunity that you're going to take and you're going to succeed with it. You're running with it. I'm also getting this energy of some of your employers offering you some sort of a course, something that you're meant to learn that is going to... Um, kind of make you rise a little bit. So whether you know this or not, Aries, if there is a, a, a course that you're meant to take or if there's a course being offered by work, I would look into this because sometimes employers don't let us know that there are courses that can help us um, advance in our careers. Um, this is, I also, I also feel this is available to, for some of you. This will add more value to you. This will make you more valuable, Aries. I also feel whatever this financial opportunity is, it's it's meant to come in for some of you because you're meant to invest in yourself. And that if investment going into yourself, whether this is you taking a course, whether this is you learning something new, whether this is you investing your money into something, this is going to grow. And you're going to see a lot of... Um, expansion through this this is what i'm getting here and this is going to come with its own shared uh amounts of challenges and obstacles but i feel that you're ready and you're facing them head on here aries which is in turn you're going to pick up superpowers as you go along this journey and that's where that expansion that's what where, where that growth comes in and and i'm getting a little bit of fear around this because of the change that's coming in so i don't want you to be scared here don't allow fear to get in the way of your ultimate goal Aries, you're stronger than you know here, my friends. So you're meant to actually take this action. And because you have, some of you already taken this action and you're already moving along this journey, you're seeing the results of your hard work and your efforts. Some of you are already uh, in the process of kind of getting things going. You're in the planning and strategizing stage. Know there's going to be a lot of success for you because you're the one that's creating this. You are the one that's planning. You're the one that's organizing. You're the one that's paying attention to detail and really mastering this place for yourself before you get started. Okay, so a lot of good is coming towards you here. And not only that... There's going to be balance and harmony in your life through this process. For some of you, this is a major learning curve, right? Maybe you have uh, switched something up in your life. Maybe you're uh, changing your habits. Maybe you've moved somewhere and, and there's a little bit of chaotic energy there. So you're taking that chaos, you're really organizing it and really putting a plan there and strategizing a plan of action on how you're going to move and how you're going to create success wherever you are in life. And for others, I feel balance is required that you have to self-regulate, bring yourself to the present moment and root yourself, ground yourself so you're not able to sway off of your path. Because as you're moving, as you're getting into motion, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to come in front of you. Okay, and it's going to require that you are firmly uh, grounded and that you're not able to sway off your path. And, and for some of you, moderation, I don't know why moderation is coming in. So if any, any of you are like taking too much of something in, spirit guides are really wanting you to practice moderation. 
um, any kind of addiction that you might have, anything that you're eating too much of. They're wanting you to release yourself from these energies and really come to this place of balance. This is mentally as well. Some of you are taking in way too much information that is almost, I'm getting a fear mongering energy or a negative influence through social media or through on like the screen. There's a screen that's flashing things at you. So you have to shut that off. I feel this is a distraction for some of you. This balance is uh, much required because there are a lot of distractions along your path here. So you have to remain focused on your ultimate goal here because through this balance, um, through this discipline to remain balanced, right? Discipline is going to be your superpower here, Aries. The, the, that discipline is what's going to keep you on track, right? So bringing that balance into your life, that harmony is going to help move you efficiently along that path here, if you understand what I'm saying, because I feel there, there is the devil card in the background kind of uh, sneaking in somehow. I'm getting the devil card popping up here. So distractions, temptations that are wanting you to grab a hold of you and pull you back towards that old way of thinking is what I'm getting here. So beware of the devil card in your life, the devil. That is temptations. These are things that you once used to do that you know are not good for you, that are holding you back from your ultimate dreams. They're trying to pull you back in some of you. So moderation is going to be good. It's okay to kind of indulge in things that uh, are pleasurable, right? Um, this could be like eating a bucket of ice cream. This could be um, going out on the night on the town and, you know, hitting the bars or clubs, go out drinking. Don't do too much of that because I feel, and, and you can do whatever you want here. I'm not telling you what to do here, Aries. I just feel that a lot of that distraction energy is there to keep us from our ultimate goals, right? That's that energy of um, instant gratification. I feel that that instant gratification is there for you and some of you have like a hard time with um, really releasing yourself from that. So you have to use discipline here and hold yourself accountable for all your actions and really, um, you know, when you're, when you're wanting to kind of have downtime, you're wanting to enjoy yourself, do it with moderation here, my friends, because this is going to help benefit you if you use moderation. All right. So a lot of things coming through here and I really feel that you're, you're about to make a, a big move here in some way, whether this is a, a move to a different city or a different country. This is I'm getting here with this uh, temperance card coming in. And usually this is not associated with tra travel or a move. But through this whole alignment of these cards, I do see a move. And perhaps it's from this Eight of Cups energy. So leaving behind instant gratification, leaving behind those uh, silly pleasure things that we have in our lives that is only for just a moment but it really doesn't benefit us in any way this could be like uh sitting on tiktok for two hours right or instagram or going through like reels or um wasting our energy on video games or things like that right um leaving these things behind i feel for some of you uh, there's this energy right now i'm feeling that some of you have been wanting to do something and, and this opportunity, whatever this is that's coming towards you here, you've been wanting to do this for a long time. So I'm seeing a little bit of um, pain in your heart from something coming up here. So I'm not sure what this is. Perhaps some of you have left someone or something behind a while ago. Maybe this was in your recent past, right? That feeling of that energy is lingering in and almost kind of like steering you off your path because you're wanting to go back towards this and maybe this is why the temperance card is asking you to self-regulate here and bring yourself to the present moment to understand where you are and where you're headed and not to look backwards so this energy from the behind is there but I feel you've turned your back and you're kind of grounded in the place grounded in the direction and the focus you know the where your focus is going and because of this, you're going to see that major success. I see that you're seeing a blank slate and you're the one that's creating this new reality in your life. And there's almost like this confusion energy, this uncertainty there as well, just in the background here for you, Aries. I'm not sure what this is here, but it's kind of there in the background. It's not prominent, 
but it's definitely there, which is causing a little bit of confusion. There's, there's like this confusion energy there. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of seeping through right now. Now, the other thing is for some of you leaving things behind that don't serve your higher purpose. These are habits. These are ways of thinking. These are relationships. I feel some of you are getting into motion, but, but there's uh, the distractions that are there are the people that are in your lives because, because what I'm feeling um, is that you're moving ahead and there's people with you or around you that feel like they're being left behind because you're starting to make such headway and you're starting to see success and people are seeing that you're becoming successful, that you're changing your life for the better. So I'm getting this energy coming through as well. And this is you really turning your back on that. I feel that it's necessary for some of you and you have made the decision to actually leave people behind because they were holding you back. So lots of energy here. So there's a lot of shedding, a lot of letting go happening here as you're going through this process, as you're taking motion, as you're getting into action on your dreams and um, that move. I don't know. Some of you are moving to a different place, whether this is a different home. Maybe you're leaving a relationship. Maybe you're parting from your family and you're kind of moving somewhere to a different country, perhaps. Right. And there's a little bit of sadness there with that as well. So I feel that your heart i can feel your heart here aries um that your heart is a little bit sad there's sadness there it's okay to be sad and it's okay to feel those emotions but don't allow them to kind of hinder you from your ultimate goal here and letting your uh self really uh tap into that power of yourself i feel a lot of us don't use our actual powers that we are naturally born with and all we have to do is just use them tap into that inner strength that power of us that power and that um version of ourselves that is going to help us reach those heights i feel that you're really coming into your own power here as well aries so this is kind of the driving force i feel a lot of you are going through a metamorphosis where you're leaving a lot behind and you're moving forward towards this beautiful life and you're really seeing the results of this and 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 because of this you're seeing a lot of balance and harmony a lot of calmness a lot of peace coming into your life because you have let go and and you're you're running forward from that old and you're really coming to this new place and and this old is kind of there it's it's almost you know what i'm getting here this feeling of you leaving your country and coming to this new place to start something new and this isn't for everyone i feel for some of you it is you going to a new country and learning something new leaving your family behind right so it's a, it's a beautiful energy because I, I, I'm seeing a lot of growth and abundance coming into your life, but I do feel there's a few attachments there um, which are which are okay, right? It's okay to miss your family because they are your family. It's okay to miss people in your lives and those people are always going to be there. And um, yeah, I'm getting this energy of that coming through here for some of you as well. So this is very interesting for you, Aries. I feel that a lot of you are doing many different things. Spirit guides are really wanting you to equip yourselves. This is going to be very important. And again, I'm going to bring that back, that point of picking up knowledge and skill sets along your way to really equip yourselves with enough information that you are doing the best job possible because you are going to reach new heights here. You are going to be victorious here my friends all right so i'm now going to pull an uh, a bonus card for you now i was using this other deck it had way too many spelling mistakes so capricorn aquarius and pisces just got that bad uh, oracle deck that i bought so i apologize i'm now using that my priestess of light oracle deck i absolutely love this uh oracle deck so i'm going to pull a card for you from this deck and see what we get today all right aries we are getting idyllic times. So look at that. The visuals on these cards are absolutely stunning. This is one of my favorite Oracle decks. So this card is about the garden and paradise. Look at this. This is where you're headed. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook here, okay? So this is number 48. Here we are, idyllic times. An owl blesses the priestess of garden as she holds a butterfly in her hands. This portends a time of great peace and joy coming your way. And that peace and joy, I feel, is that um, temperance card here for you, Aries. 
It may be an unexpected blessing or long-awaited result of extens extensive effort on your part, Aries. The butterfly reminds us the gen gentle power to become something completely new through the process of metamorphosis. As a caterp caterpillar changes through an internal alchemical process, it experiences intense pressure, pressure and difficulty. In time, it emerges from its cocoon as a winged butterfly, having forged the strength to travel thousands of miles in its migration. Similarly, the hardships that you've gone through have brought you great value and inner strength, transforming your life and carrying you to a new reality of pleasant experiences and peaceful surroundings. So get ready for this idyllic times ahead. Let yourself relax and appreciate the peace and beauty coming into your life, Aries. On a purely practical level, this card could be foretelling an upcoming trip or even a move to a picturesque and lush environment, one that may seem like a paradise to you. This bodes well for your energy and your future. Even if you can't go on vacation or make a move now, you can still create Id ideals of peace and happiness in your daily life, Aries. Surround yourself with the beauty of nature, the trees, flowers, birds, and animals that are ever-present blessings from the universe. Know that every moment you stop to relax and appreciate your, your natural world, you bring an idyllic light time to your life. After all, paradise is always there should you choose to experience it. So look at that. What a beautiful message for you today through the bonus card, Aries. I feel like this is aligned to your reading today. Definitely a message coming through here for you. I'm now going to pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. Number seven, I am brilliant. So if you've been seeing sevens everywhere, know that you, my friends, are brilliant. Let me read this to you. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. Look at that. You are brilliant, my friends. Tap into this superpower because you harness this. So if this reading resonates for you today, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.